Hello everyone, this is HTS Gatsky here. Welcome back to my channel and it is time for some StarCraft 2 action. What year is it, guys? Are we having deja vu? Is, did, did we go back in time? Is it 2015? That's when Legacy of the Void came out, I think, right? I don't know. It's It feels like it's almost been a decade, but you know what? I have decided that I'm going to be playing through the Legacy of the Void campaign. I was on Facebook the other day. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that out loud. Uh, I was on Facebook and I did some random posts on there. And uh, a lot of nice people actually reminded me that I don't think I ever did a Legacy of the Void playthrough all the way. I think at some point I did play it. I think I have completed it at some point, but it's been many, many years. I don't recall anything about the campaign other than you get to play the best race in StarCraft 2, which is, of course, Protoss, which I think everybody can agree on at this point. Right, guys? Right? But, uh, you know, I'm still terrible at the game. I'll play multiplayer games every now and then. A Smurf account I played a couple of games on here and there. And lately, I have been going through like an RTS binge. For the last month and a half, I've downloaded about 30 different RTSs, which includes like 15 uh, Command & Conquer games. I feel like there's a million of those. And playing through all them, I downloaded every RTS I could find on Steam. You can even download Halo Wars, the first one on Steam now. It's a it's it's the Wild West out there at this point. But nothing so far has come close to StarCraft 2. I am pretty excited about Stormgate upcoming. But for now, I think we should just jump right on in. So thank you to everyone on Facebook, which, again, not something I thought I'd be saying out loud. Uh, if people on Facebook are being nicer than other websites, I don't know, those other websites definitely got to check themselves. But let's see if we can figure out how to do a new campaign here. I feel like we can handle normal, right? We we can't be that bad. So we'll try normal. Maybe someday I can I can start brutal. But uh, here we go. It is in an era of great uncertainty. The dark god Amon has been reborn on an unknown world, heralding doom for all life in the Caprulu sector. Before returning to his people to face their judgment, Zeratul. I guess if you're Zer, you're like Zeratul, more like Zeratul. I'm sure I made that joke at some point in the past, but hey, hey, it's a joke that stands the test of time, right? Uh, Zeratul scours the galaxy to find a way to stop the coming darkness. In this late hour, he seeks the last fragments of an ancient prophecy that could provide a ray of hope. All right, time for some good old cutscenes. Can't go wrong with some Blizzard cutscenes. As it was foretold, Amon, the dark. Again, if any hope remains for our galaxy, it lies in the hands of the Zelnaga. Only one piece of the prophecy remains unfulfilled. That on the world where Amon was reborn, the last light will be revealed. There is one being who knew that location. A creature known as Samir Duran, or to the Terrans, as Larun. In this system hides a long-forgotten Mobius facility. I must hope his secrets still rest within its walls. Alright, here's a- wait. Zeratul, wait. <laughs> wait, are those- are those Zeratul dips? Wait, wait, wait. An unknown force has been abducting Templar from our colony worlds. My forces and I have managed to track them to attack the city. Wait, is there... Wait, do all... Do all Protoss have dips? I... I... Why are they at such high resolution? I can't. I can't. I can't. How... How did I not... How did I not know this sooner? If I did know this, why have I forgotten it? What is the lore on it? I don't understand. I can't even focus. What are we doing? Where are they? I, I can't. I literally can't. The facility. Zeratul. I thought I sensed your presence. Let's not mince words. Why are you here? This place holds information I seek. And my captured brethren. I intend to free them both from the Terran's grip. This facility is a breeding ground for Amon's hybrid army. My swarm will erase it from existence. But I know that won't stop you. So let me make this clear. Stay out of our way, Zeratul. Do not fear. We will 
not abandon this fight, Talus. If we are swift and clever, we can avoid the swarm. Very well. I have made our nexus point ready for your arrival. All right, well, here we are. We got our nice little Protoss base. Hold on, this feels, this feels a little slow. Uh, let's see. Where, gotta be gameplay, right? Game speed. There it is. I knew, I knew it was feeling a little bit slow. And wait, hold on. Hold on. I noticed here, background model, Minsk. You can change it to all of this stuff. We gotta go get the Zeratul nips, I guess. Uh, so there we go. We made those very, very important changes. just ahead. Ready your blades, all right, well, we got to make sure to ready our blades. But, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I'm going to be terrible. I don't remember anything about the campaign. And I, I was posting some... Oh, what do you want, Zeratul? You guys are awfully chatty. Hold on. You know, you know, everybody's chatting up a storm here. We'll give them a second. Dark Prelate, we will need to cross the swarm's attack route to reach the captain. Move forward only when it is clear. Avoid the Zerg's forces at all costs. Alright, well, we're trying to avoid the Zerg. But uh, I was playing some Company of Heroes on my channel. And I kind of forgot how slow that game actually is. I thought I could do an entire playthrough. But to be completely honest, it was so much slower than I expected it to be. So it's actually a really fun game. If you're playing through it, it has kind of like these two different modes, whatever. You can watch the first videos I posted. I don't know if I'll be posting a full playthrough. I might be posting like some of the later levels just to uh, kind of share those with you guys if you don't have the patience to sit all the way through the game. Uh, so I've actually been enjoying it quite a bit. That is a huge army. They are literally just chilling. For an attack. Warriors, stay clear of the Zerg's path. All right. And, uh... That kind of got me thinking, you know, you know, I was like, I should probably, oh my goodness, we are still chatting. I feel like this could be a text message, you guys. I don't know that we need to, we need to be bringing up FaceTime every time we're going to say something. And, no, the chrono boost, you know, definitely not min-maxing. Wait, these guys are mining. Why don't I get any of this money? What? They're literally mining off of an asteroid. I definitely want that. But uh, overall, as you guys probably know... My voice was getting pretty darn wrecked back in the heyday of making, I mean, at one point I was making 100 videos a month. That was kind of when I first started, and YouTube, you could only upload, like, was it 10-minute videos originally? And then they upgraded it to 15, I think. Oh, it was so long ago. I'd literally have to look back at the history of the video length. Uh, but, you know, so some of those would just be a long game that I had to split into three or four parts. But still, it was technically 100 videos, and it was definitely wrecking my voice after a while. So basically, kind of the realization I came to is I may not be able to be as hype as I would like to be. I may have to be a little bit more restrained and definitely cannot be making a hundred videos a month. Not that any of us are able to watch a hundred. I mean, who has time for that this, these days? Uh, unless you're watching, I guess, you know, one minute shorts or TikToks or whatever. Reels. Everybody's coming up with a new name for these things. Oh, hey, they're landing my base. I guess they just literally flew over here and landed. All right, whatever. I guess I should probably start making some stuff instead of just being chatty and that's it. But hopefully this first mission, you know, hopefully they're giving me some lenience here. All right, we get a zero tool. They're going to be attacking soon, and we're all super sad about it. Okay, you know what? Are they just going to keep landing here? Should I just do, you know, throw up like a, a true pro gamer, just throw up some cannons here. I feel like that's probably fine. Then we'll work on getting some more guys going. So, I mean, it's Terran versus Zerg over here. I almost go into commentator mode. God, fire bats are so thick in this game. They were not they were not that big boys in uh, the original Brood War. Why do I still hear things attacking? Oh, okay. Well, that Terran base did not last very long. So, I think in general, as I'm playing through this, it may just be a little bit more chill. If that's cool with you guys, so I don't absolutely shred my voice. And, you know, I realize I don't have to talk every single second. I don't have to be level 10 excited, even though deep down I kind of am level 10 excited. I, I can probably learn to be a little bit more chill and learn to use my voice a little bit more. Because I think really the main problem that I was kind of learning working with vocal coaches and stuff is I was, I was just basically yelling 
And what that does is that just messes up your voice because you are not using your voice correctly. Even whispering can kind of mess up your voice if you're not doing it correctly. So I, I think if I, if I work more on my chest voice and I'm more talking down in the depths of my chest, that hopefully will be a little bit better. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be moments I still get excited. And, you know, I, I love video games and I always have. And so I'm definitely going to get some level of excited. But I definitely think as I'm playing through this campaign and, and having fun, you know, maybe just make it more chill. And I think that that's definitely okay. And I do want to give a big shout out to everyone on, on Facebook. I was kind of actually pleasantly shocked at how many, how many of you guys are still on Facebook. Did not realize so many of you are still using Facebook. I don't think I've posted on there for years. So when I asked you guys a couple of questions, I was like, oh, there's like 200 responses. Uh, so people are still here. So I'm actually probably going to be posting there more and more as I can get direct feedback, which is kind of nice. And of course, there's like YouTube comments, which I always, I've always read through those and uh, kind of enjoy, enjoy the old YouTube comments. I've always been weird that way. Like so many people I know, they hate the YouTube comment system. I've always thought it's not too bad. And ever since uh, you guys remember, like, what year was it? Was it like four years ago? They changed, like, in order to leave a YouTube comment, you had to like take an additional step or something. And overall, the amount of spam and stuff just kind of plummeted on on YouTube. So, if you guys do post comments and all that, I will definitely be reading those. I don't know what Zeratul is talking about. We're just going to keep keep on moving up this way. I wonder what other tech they give us. Oh, we can actually do robotics. All right. Aha! My cannons have come in handy versus a wraith. Uh... First of all, race definitely worthless against ground units, but uh, I think we're going to be just fine right there. I'm not worried about that at all. Let's go see what's up here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Got to get some of that money going. Yeah, I love how we have Blink already. Is there anything in there? I don't, it's letting me shoot them. I don't know if shooting this stuff is actually doing anything. Can I shoot anything else? Doesn't look like it, but let's see what's over there. Our base is just chugging along, doing good. I wonder what it lets me make. Can I make a Colossus? I gotta make I gotta make Colossi if it's going to allow us to do that. Definitely, definitely have to do that if possible. Which is kind of awesome that the the first mission you're literally able to make Colossi. So I guess I only need two more of those. Got all the upgrades. Oh my goodness, you can totally make Colossi. For now, I'm gonna do that. Oh. Hey, we rescued some zealots. Do you guys say zealots or zealots? I think I think zealot is correct, right? But I definitely, until I was mid twenties, definitely said Zealot. Most did not survive. I have seen foul work of this nature before, but Narud is dead. Whose hand brought you here? Alas, I know not. Praetor, we wish to join you to avenge our brothers in arms. Then ready yourselves, Templar. Yeah, ready yourselves, Templar, because you are under the command of H to the Esky Husky, who uh, has not has not commanded an army in quite some time. Go forth and claim the vengeance you seek. As one. Uh, has not commanded an army in quite some time. I'm not exactly sure why they're trusting me with uh, with something like this, but we are going to see how that pans out. Wait, can I shoot these things? Anything in there? I guess we will find out. All right, we already got all the upgrades. They gave us a bunch more units, so I'm supply blocked, but that's a-okay. All right, let's go ahead and get one of those going. And nope, nothing really in there. It does let me shoot them, which is fun. What game are you guys playing? What game are you guys playing on these computers? Yeah, whatever. All right, got some Terrans down here. Ooh, a pylon. All right, that's interesting. Warping in. Impossible. They are experimenting with pylon technology. We should eliminate these Terrans and reclaim the pylon for ourselves. The Zerg forces will move soon. We must be cautious. Tear apart their reactor. The Queen of Blades demands it. All right, I'm going to be honest, guys. I missed the Terrans warping in. Reclaiming the pylon now. It is hard to believe such primitive beasts could manipulate our technology. So I guess if you want to see Terrans warping in, you're going to have to watch someone else's playthrough. You're going to have to dig deep in the archives. I don't, I don't know that many people are, are posting their <laughs> Legacy of the Void playthroughs <laughs> in the year 2023. 
But you know, I'm sure there's someone out there you can you can catch a glimpse of those Terrans warping in. Or maybe we'll see more Terrans warping in coming up, you know? Maybe we maybe we didn't miss all the action. I do love all the uh all the old school units though. The Goliath, we got No no, I gotta use my forward pylon. Is this Pylo's cousin? Pyla? Maybe that is Pyla. I, I literally cannot believe that the first mission Can I click on any of this stuff? I don't know I don't know why it lets you click on this stuff, but I'm going to. Uh, the first mission has like a pylon that you're rescuing. That is uh, that is something else. So get more Colossus going. That's what we need. That's really all we need. It's gonna make this game so much easier. All right, another base over here. Oh, watch this. Pro blink. Pro blink right there. That's why you guys have come to me. All right, let's get another cannon here. These guys are making me a little bit nervous. Although I wonder, can we do? Are they gonna let me do size storm? Oh, look at that! Also, I just noticed my Colossi is pretty smart. He kind of turned right around and was like, no, this way is actually closer. So I guess my forward pylon is no longer cool. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can. You know, you gotta expand, guys. It's all about that macro. It's all about that min maxing, right? Wait, what are these guys doing? Can I rescue them? Do I gotta shoot this thing? I love how they're just kind of chilling out here, like, well, we have our yellow, our yellow clothes on, and these guys have their blue clothes, so we're not gonna help them out. Kerrigan, you know as well as I that Amon lives. Slaying his hybrid is a meaningless act. We must awaken the Zelnaga. <laughs> Reason of the stone in the Zerg. The final cell awaits us, Zeratul. We should delay no longer. Alright, well, hmm. I feel like just going for lots of Colossi is super fun. Oh, they do let you get High Templar. Do I have to research Storm? No, they got it already. Oh, we're getting we're getting the High Templar going. Can we do Archons? Ah. Kind of love that there's so many, so much tech unlocked in this first mission. I'm killing these things. Maybe there's like a secret uh, achievement or something I don't know about. Okay, well, that wasn't that exciting. Is this a dead end? No. I guess this way? What is this way? Oh, more Terran. Get that Guardian Shield going. Yes, give me the Archons. Power overwhelming, etc. Okay, I also don't know if they're going to attack this spot, so let's just do some of that. Get some workers going. Devour them whole. I mean, are we even going to transfer some workers? Maybe. Maybe. You don't know when I'll need that extra money. All right, how do I get over here? Let's just have our guys figure it out. Oh, got more Terrans over here. Let's just blink right on in like a bunch of winners. Oh, we got Archons. We got Colossi. I mean, this is going to be a walk in the park. We got Guardian Shield going. Easy. The Zerg are helping out. I mean, these Terran are just not having a great day. Let's be completely honest about that. All right, let's, uh, you know, we got to make sure our, we're, we're min-maxing these, these patches here. Make sure we got everyone going, doing their jobs. I'm feeling, you know, guys, I think I'm pretty good at video games. You know, I think that you guys... You know, you're watching me back in the day because I'm great at video games. You're watching me now because I'm great at video games. Uh, just kidding, obviously. One of the very first comments when I was posting Company of Heroes was, Wow, Husky sucks at video games. <laughs> literally, literally, I haven't posted a gaming video in like a hundred years. And the first commenter immediately understands the brand immediately is observant to, wow, Husky still sucks, no matter how much he's played a game. There's our forward Pyla. Both pylons have been returned to our rifle control. Oh, that's we'll good. Reinforcements now. I know we were really worried about... You know, there's something kind of funny about, like, rescuing pylons. I mean, that's really what they came up with for the first mission in this game, is rescuing pylons? I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say anything. I just think it's kind of funny. Would never in a million years think they were rescuing pylons. Although, you know, as someone who is great friends with Pylo the Pylon, uh, I think we all can understand 
the importance of pylons. All right. Can you imagine if uh, Guardian Shield would stack so you could literally just become invulnerable? Yes, please. I don't know how many of them you have to cast. That would definitely be a lot. What do we got? Oh, we got a High Templar. Thank you, brothers. The Taldarim have been abducting Templar, bringing them to Terran stations, turning us into a hybrid. The Taldarim? Those heretics have never ventured so close to our worlds. This can only be the work of Amon. Templar, where were they holding you? His El Naga Temple, unlike any I have seen. It was called Eris, but its location was kept a secret from us. Mobius and the Taldarim both served under Naruf's command. He would have known the location of this temple. The Atreus system. This is where Amon was reborn. Deep within the Sigma Quadrant and under Taldarim guard. You have aided me in my quest, Zeratul. I am honor bound to help you in yours. We shall help you claim this temple. Hey, I thought there was going to be more. I guess I've already unlocked these achievements before. What would this one be? Destroy 30 Zerg units during the Dark Whisper. Oh, that would have been so easy. I guess maybe I should read them before the mission starts to see which ones I can unlock. But uh, I must have played this other one before and, and unlocked it at some point. But I, I've never been one to, like, try and collect achievements, you know? It's like, you know, my achievement in life is that... I woke up today. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, I guess that's going to be it for the very first video. Actually ended up being kind of a, a nice little length there. 19 minutes. Video itself is at, what, 22 minutes? Something like that. But, anyways, this was super fun. If you guys want me to, if one person comments that they want me to play the next mission, I will do my best to make it happen. You never know, though. I might just randomly disappear. Not that I have a track record of that by any means. But, in all seriousness, guys, this has been so fun. Honestly, for whatever reason, you guys are so nice on Facebook. Which, again, not what Facebook is known for, but I actually enjoyed reading through all the comments there on my last several posts. So let me know. Should I continue to play this? And also, I don't think I did Nova's campaign, right? I, I don't think I don't think I did. So if that's something you want to see after this playthrough, let me know. But we are for sure getting our Protoss fix. It has been way too long since I've I've played around with the Protoss. Not quite sure how to save that uh, without it sounding crazy out of context. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, I'll see you guys next time.